Hi everyone, this is Kevin with Garrison Dental Solutions. Today we're going to take a look at the ring on the right, the 3D XR. The XR was for extra retention. It is a descendant of the orange ring, the 3D 500. The soft face silicone was such a huge hit. It allows the ring to adapt so nicely to the tooth and cut down on flash. The only dilemma was with this full silicone down the whole length of the face, there were times when the ring did not like to retain on the tooth. We went back to the drawing board and did some more development and worked up the 3D XR. What we have is the hard peak plastic wrapping all the way around underneath the silicone. So that allows these little prongs to grip down below the infrabulge of the tooth and actually engage the tooth to help it retain better. The blue one is a short ring. You can see the difference in the gingival occlusal height of the ring. They can be used together for stacking with the short ring and then the taller orange ring stacked over top. Usage is identical to all of our soft face rings in that the little slot on the bottom fits right over top of the wedge so placement is quite easy. We come in at just a little bit of an angle, rotate it now. We can put the orange one over top of it like that. And we still have the interface of the silicone and the band to help reduce the buccal and lingual flash. But when it comes to retention, the distal of the canine is always a challenge with a ring system. And when we put a regular 3D ring on there, it comes right off. We put the 3D XR in that position and it actually retains. Short tooth, malpositioned tooth, distal of the canine like this. This is a, a really good ring to use on primary teeth because those short little primary teeth have very little infrabulge that's actually up above the gingiva. This can really help grip. There it is, 3DXR.